Now MyFitnessPal is an application to go along with the MyFitnessPal website. Um, and MyFitnessPal basically is a food diary application. Um, if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight even and uh, you're involved in weightlifting or exercise then it's an absolutely uh, essential application for you. And so basically MyFitnessPal um, allows you to very easily add the, the food that you've eaten each day um, to an online diary. Um, it syncs with the application to your um, phone and uh, to the, the cloud, to the website itself. Um, what makes MyFitnessPal exceptionally uh, easy to use and exceptionally good is that it has an online database of pretty much every single product, all the brand names, um, including all their nutrition information. So when you first launch the application, you get into today's diary um, with an overview of the nu nutritional summary of what you've eaten. So you can see today I've got a lot of calories still to eat. Um, it tells you what fats I've eaten, uh, what carbs I've eaten, what protein I've eaten, the most important factors for me really, sugar and uh, sodium, also important factors. Personally, I'm trying to lose body fat at the moment. Not weight necessarily, so I'm not really tracking weight, but body fat, so along with exercise and a decent calorie deficit, that should be possible. And so every day I'm looking to maintain about 500 calorie deficit every single day. And so today, um, I've still got 1,200 calories remaining, so I want to get that down to about 500 calories remaining, so I've still got 700 more to eat, but I've got to put in some post-workout stuff. You can see that yesterday, 315 calories remaining, not so great, but better than overeating. Um, Tuesday, 560 calories. So you can see that every day it just keeps a nice summary uh, of what you've eaten. Now Sunday, 1900 calories, that's what it works out as my uh, uh, maintenance uh, calories, is how many I should eat each day to keep the same weight. And you'll see that I didn't bother filling anything out on Sunday, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, and so that's a bit of a drawback. It still shows that you've got all those calories. There's no way of actually just saying, I don't want to track today, but there you go. Saturday, you get the, you get the idea. So you can go through like that. The interface is nice, you can see it's very sort of uh, mobile friendly. Uh, you're just sweeping with your thumb. Um, shows you basically what you've eaten. Um, your goal, food, you can add the exercise and all that. Now to get a little bit more detail, you press this little bit button up here, um, which is your diary. And that actually says what you've actually eaten. Um, and it allows you to break it down and see individual calories for individual meals and individual food groups that you've eaten each day. So uh, you see that on uh, today, start off with some Sultana brand, lovely jubbly. Lunch, a uh, bit of chicken tikka sandwich filler, not exactly the healthiest, but there you go. Yesterday's probably a better option. Sultana brand, <laughs> sausage sandwich. Um, for dinner, some, something lean, chicken fajitas. And some snacks in there as well. And it allows you just to track so easy. You can see here we've got brand names, Utterly Butterly, Amiga Free, St. Ivo, and most, most products that you eat on a day to day basis will be uh, within the application. It's, it's, it's very simple. Um, even whole meals are in there, so roast dinners and things like that. If you can't be bothered to work out exactly and you just want a rough estimate of, of, of what that contains, um, you can add that. Um, so today, um, I haven't completed today. Uh, I've just been to the gym and so there's some food groups I need to add and so I've got a pre-workout um, supplement that I take and you can see that the most used items in the pre-category um, uh, there's some protein and banana, peanut butter, those kinds of things but there's this thing from Gaspar Gaspari uh, Nutrition which is uh, Super Pump 250 uh, raspberry lemonade flavour, I definitely add one of them during my workout and so I click that, I say one scoop, one serving very easy, shows me it's 25 calories. You can look at the nutritional information, it's a bit late now. I add that, and it's as easy as that. I've added uh, Super Bump 250 to uh, uh, my pre workout. Now, when I finished working out, I had a, uh, a PhD Farm Away. Um, so you can see that I, I go between different protein powders, but this one's PhD Farm Away. Um, one serving, that's all I had, so it's 100 calories in that, but that's not really the most important bit, the most important bit is the protein, and that's in there as well, so you can see straight away, my goal is 1900, um, I, want to, I want my goal to be really about 1400, 1500 uh, to, to lose some weight, and uh, remaining I've still got 1100, so uh, still got 600 calories still to eat today, but dinner still to come, happy days, so I won't complete this entry, but there you go. 
Now for dinner, I'll just show you some of the cool things about this. I'll, I'll show you a, a look up. So, your most used items are there again. You've got roast potatoes, roast dinners, things that you eat a lot of, fish, cheese, you know, lots of things. These are all things that I personally eat, and some of them I'm a little bit embarrassed about. And you can go through recently eaten items, um, and that's, you know, what you, speaks for itself, what you've eaten recently. Um, you can add your own foods if something doesn't exist already, but um, I haven't actually added anything because I've actually found that most foods already exist uh, for me. Uh, you can even add your own meals. I've done that because I eat a lot of poached eggs on toast for breakfast. I know this week isn't uh, that case, but there you go. Poached eggs on toast, I could add that if I wanted to. And you can even add recipes. And so it's very, very simple to use. You can see it's very responsive. It's ad-driven, so it's a free product. Um, MyFitnessPal does have sort of premium membership options on the website, but um, you can get by just using the free stuff, and it's, it's really excellent. You even have a chance to search for food. Um, so there's lots of different things in there, lots of different things you can search for. Let's say I want to search for uh, ginger nuts. So uh, the ginger nut biscuits, so we've got a ginger, uh, ginger nut. So if I had a ginger nut with a cup of coffee, so ginger nut biscuits, one biscuit, 46 calories, that's a Tesco one. Probably wouldn't buy from Tesco. Asda, one ginger nut Asda, 45 calorie. I can add that, one biscuit, and that will add it. Now obviously it should really go in snacks, but there you go. Shows it there in dinner. Um, now you can use this application for tracking uh, your weight as well. Like I say, I'm not really that interested in that, but it is possible. Um, and you can even add exercise and all kinds of things to it. Um, as well as all this, it, you've got the syncing options. You can actually edit your, your profile that uh, syncs up with the website itself. Um, so that you can change your goals and you can uh, edit f your own foods in here and uh, so your food, like I say I've got none in there at the moment but I do have some meals, I can remove them from my profile as well um, that's about it for the application really, it, it's, it does what it says on the tin uh, the only other thing that I could possibly tell you is that you also have the option um, to use a barcode scanner, so if you've got a chocolate bar or something that you've just eaten, not that you should, maybe a pack of celery or some carrot sticks, which would probably be a little bit more appropriate if you're trying to lose weight, you could just scan the barcode in, bleep, and um, that will then basically be the equivalent of a, a search using the database. Um, anything that's within the application itself that you, you can go in and edit. So. If I go into snacks, you can add multiple snacks as well. Um, so if I go into wholemeal bread, you can go in there. And you can just basically see what nutritional information, what nutrition is within each of the food groups that you eat. Now, what this application does allow you to do is obviously check out a food before you eat it. So if you're about to um, give in to a guilty pleasure, you can check it out. You can see how much fat, how much protein, how many carbs. Um, and you can make an informed decision. I think that's the most important uh, part of this application is that it allows you to make informed decisions about what you eat. It's absolutely essential if you're trying to lose weight. It's absolutely essential uh, if you are trying to uh, gain weight uh, through exercise. And if you're just trying to eat healthier, it will give you a huge insight into um, the, th the foods you eat. And, you know, it will allow you to make better decisions and eat healthier sometimes. <laughs> One thing I will say is make sure that you track um, drinks. It's very easy to forget about drinks. If you, if you drink Coca-Cola or coffee with sugar in, make sure you add your sugar and make sure you add your Coca-Cola because it all adds up. Um, you'll suddenly just decide, I'm sure, if, if you do start tracking that Diet Coke isn't so bad after all, um, especially when you're not consuming 500 calories a drink. And the, the same can be said for uh, you know sweetener instead of sugar. I hope that's useful. And if you're trying to lose weight or you are dieting or you are an exercise freak, I hope... This uh, helps you out, and um, go and download it. It's, it's an excellent application. It's, it's, it's a must-have. Okay, uh, so thanks very much. Um, I hope you'll join me for my next application review, which will be soon. And um, please subscribe, and please visit mygreatandroid.com. Thank you.